Hello, this is a tool review on the Schwaben Lock Carrier tool set, which is the equivalent to Audi's 3411 specialty tool. I got these as a set from ECS Tuning for 15 American dollars. The purpose of these pins, as they call them, is to give the front lock carrier on your Audi or VW support while it's detached from its mounted position and pulled outward, sliding onto these pins. This creates more room to work around the front of your engine for common timing and cooling system jobs while keeping the coolant and AC lines connected. I'll show you how it works. My initial impression is that, like many Schwaben tools I've used before, the construction quality looks average to good, but there's always one kind of cheap looking part, which is the ball head in this case, but ultimately I'm not too concerned because I'm a fairly gentle user of tools. The only truly important part of this tool is its dimensions, and that is, it's an M8 by one and a quarter thread and seven and a half inches long. To start off, the front bumper has already been removed, and so have the headlights, although that part isn't necessary. What we're doing is preparing to move the front lock carrier into Audi's service position where these pins will become necessary. As a refresher, the lock carrier is everything that you see as part of this front black assembly. To allow the carrier to be free and to be moved out towards the front of the car, we need to detach a few things. Remove the two Phillips head screws that come from here and here and remove the front half of the air intake. Next, you'll need to remove the two horns off of the front bumper reinforcement, although a lot of people call that the crash bar and I will probably do that too. Now, you can disconnect this connector right here, but if you're like me and you have an aversion to messing with these things because you're scared of the clips, what you can actually do is just take off this little 10 millimeter nut right here and then relocate the horn into any other hole around. Next, you'll be taking off the crash bar and it's held in place by two securing bolts. To get those bolts out, you'll need a 10 millimeter triple square bit, which is a 12 sided bit. These securing bolts are quite long. They actually travel through the entire height of the crash bar and you access them from the bottom. If you don't happen to have triple square bits, don't worry. If you do have a T50 Torx bit, that'll work too. The crash bar is now free and you can go ahead and just pull it straight out. Next up, the two front impact brackets and shocks will be coming off and you'll do that by taking out the three 13 millimeter bolts and the one 10 millimeter bolt. If they're not falling out already, just go ahead and pull these straight out. Finally, it's time to use the pins. So before we take out the three Torx screws on each side that are providing the majority of the remaining support for the lock carrier, we need to install the pins to take on the weight. The three 13 millimeter bolts that came out in the last step and this fourth unused hole right there are all eight millimeter thread. So you could use this pin anywhere you choose. If you're concerned about the weight of the lock carrier sitting on one pin on each side, like maybe you have a big front mount intercooler that's adding some extra weight, you may as well just buy two sets of pins and run two on each side. I personally like to use my pins on the inside bottom position. You'll see in a second when we finish up service position is that a lot of the carrier weight will still be hanging off the top, so I prefer to balance out the support by putting in the pins low. I moved one of the pins up to the top spot to give you an idea of the fit and finish for a moment. Now I can't give all the credit to Schwaben because all they did was copy a factory tool, but they did know when the pin would stop threading and they stuck their logo in the dead center top, which is kind of a nice touch. And then on the back, there's only so much thread in the pin that it comes perfectly flush with the back of the mount that it's in. It's kind of nice. With the pins now in place, on each side of the lock carrier, remove three T30 Torx screws. There's two on the top on the edges where it meets the fender, and then one right down here. You probably just felt the weight of the lock carrier fall forward, especially on the top, and that's okay. But before you go start pulling the carrier forward, make sure you take the weather stripping off that runs along the fenders and the top of the carrier all the way around. To complete Audi's service position by the book, you need to reinstall one torque screw on each side of the lock carrier. What you're doing is moving the carrier forward by one hole and connecting the back hole in the carrier to the front hole in the fender. At this point, you can grab the top and bottom of the carrier and pull it out as far as the remaining connections will allow you to onto the pins. What you should see is a lot more working room in front of the engine, and now you can really get an appreciation for why these pins are necessary. It's up to you if you want to go further at this point to get even more working room in the front of the engine, but if you do, you don't have to take out the headlights, but you will need to disconnect the connectors at the back of them. Then there's two more plugs that sit in this metal mount that run out to the radiator. Disconnect those as well. The hood latch cable running to the middle, pop that out with a little tug. Down here there is a T30 torque screw that's holding down one of these AC lines. You want to loosen that up as well. And then of course you'll need to take out this remaining uh, torque screw to give the top of the lock carrier the room to fall even further forward. There is a little secret to this tool and process though. Remember these securing bolts that came out of the crash bar earlier? These are also M8 thread, meaning they can go into any of these four holes and actually double as this tool. 
Obviously, it's not ideal that the lock carrier would get dragged across the threads on this bolt, but in a pinch, it'll work, and it's free. Nonetheless, I think this is a must-have tool for Audi and Volkswagen owners. They're so affordable and useful, if literally anything broke in the lock carrier while it was out in service position without enough support, they're worth it. I would even buy multiple sets. Thanks for watching. Please browse through my other tool review videos or subscribe. See you next time.